Okay, another day, another close to a nice day here in Statesville, North Carolina. Uh, some of you might have saw my uh, before and after pictures of this engine when I received it. It was kind of dusty and not good. Um, I've since replaced all the PVC valve and it's got an electronic old school looking ignition system, distributor, 45,000 volt um, coil. Got all new, uh, I forgot the name of these things, but uh, these two items here uh, for the headlights, they're all new with all new uh, vacuum line. Just painted the firewall, sand it down and painted it a little bit, give it a little more of a fresh appeal to complement the uh, new paint carburetor all the new parts here uh, I have the you know, filter all done consisting of the the new rubber cowl injection seal the uh, the um, air filter all painted redone Oh, glass bead at the local machine shop. It's got that little foamy element there they used to use back then. I don't know why, but it's in there new with a new piece of hose, a new clip. Ready to rock. As you know about the gas tank, ready to put on everything new, ready to go. Got the overflow with the spring inside like it's supposed to be, all original factory, new cap. Nice. Bought a water pump yesterday with new hoses, new clamps. And of course I had to <clears throat> had to paint it to make it look pretty. That'll that'll go on over here. That's why the you know the uh, water pump has all got overspray on it because that's coming out. That's not part of the equation. The fan belt, the that extra pulley from the smog pump will be coming out, be omitted. All new painted parts put back, the fan, everything nice and black, jet black, like over here. And uh, the new hose going here, the new lower hose. Then I'm going to put some antifreeze in it. Uh, I got a brand new fuel pump to put on this week. New fuel pump with new, with new hoses, and then over here I have the. I got me a new ready to cap too. It's not original, but it looks just like it's stainless. Really well made from Mr. Gasket years ago. This is old, probably from. I don't know, but it's all faded from the sun from the window of the store. It used to be. I guess nine dollars or something but anyway these are the um, tank the fuel tank straps and I had to sand them down by hand with a hand di a sand disc and now they're ready when I'm, later in the week when I put the uh, the fuel tank up they'll be all nice and clean with all new hardware this is the yellow one over here drying up I don't have much space, so I only can do one at a time <laughs> on this little makeshift cardboard table. <laughs> and then this is that um, for the breather. It goes from the valve cover into the, the breather, that little white element I just showed you. I just sanded this by hand and put a couple coats of nice engine gloss black on there. Should look nice. Oh, here's the paint right here. It's about uh, ten dollars, eleven dollars a can. It's not cheap no more. It's not cheap. So I'm just gonna wait, try to catch it before dark. Flip this over and do the the edge, the edge on the other side. It's almost dry. It dries pretty fast. This stuff about 10, 15 minutes per coat. Flip it over. It's already pre-bent the right way and everything nice. Yeah, they have a new set you can buy. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
they want like $45. When all you have to do is sand these down a little bit and paint them up, they look great. Waste of money. Two lousy straps are not worth more than $18. They want $40 something dollars. Unbelievable. This world, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's coming up pretty good. I'm pretty happy. I just discovered, though, this, this windshield washer motor has some lines going to it and a couple of wires, but nothing's there. And I realized, looking at some YouTube videos, this year car is supposed to have the water pump right on top of the windshield wiper motor. Up here somewhere. Else. There's two wires here with the ends taped up in case you try to activate it, I guess. They taped them up so they don't arc out, you know. I believe these two, they have little, like, uh, spade ends on them. I believe they went up top for the windshield motor, which is over here somewhere. You know? And that's why these lines are here, these little, these little windshield washer lines are here. They're not going anywhere. I think they put the wrong wiper motor in. They probably put a wiper motor in for a different car that would fit, you know, a GM motor, but not the right application. So that'll have to be looked into down the road and taken off and it only has like, I guess, four bolts right there in the front. Remove it, unplug it, and remove it. Get the right one, put it in its place and be all set. Hopefully. Hopefully. Anyways, I hope you enjoy watching my videos. I hope you understand this madness. <laughs> I got the front nose piece in. I ordered the front uh, center center grill, real metal, not that not that uh, ABS plastic stuff. So the whole front grill will be original. It's like a pop metal, pop metal. It's not really. Uh, it's anything's better than plastic, you know. But uh, I'll be working on that too later on, probably next week. That's not too important right now. That's more of a. It, it's important, you know. It looks awful without it, but it's more like a cosmetic thing. The fuel pump, the uh, water pump. And the fuel tank, fuel cell, that's the important things right now. So, I hand sanded this little area here, scuff it up, you know, put some nice paint. Now, this paint applies kind of shiny, this engine bay paint. But, you know, after about a month or two with the heat and driving it, it starts looking like the original color, which was like kind of like a, a satin. In between a flat and a, and a gloss black, like a satin black. It always sprays out real shiny. It looks like, oh, God, that's too wet. It don't look good. It's not a show car. Correct. But in a little while, similar to this power brake booster, you can see that's old. There's no paint on that. You see how it's black, but it's not super shiny? That's how that'll be in about two months. All the heat under there and stuff. So that's the, that's the look we want to get, you know. Uh, well, I guess it's time to cl close up the garage. Head inside, maybe have a green tea. Talk to Michelle. Her, uh, her mom passed away yesterday evening, about 11.30, our time. The whole family here herself are handling it very well. They understand the mom was in a lot of pain and suffering in the last few months, so I believe... Uh, I believe um, she's in a better place now, and I'm sure the family does too. But uh, she's taking it real well. She's a strong woman. I'm happy to have her by my side every day. My best friend. Okay, then, I'll let you go for now. My hands are all full of paint. There's no paint on my face. What do you think? Anyways, uh, take care. God bless. Talk to you in the next segment of. Uh, Johnny Bravo's Auto Restoration Emporium, South, uh, excuse me, North Carolina Division. <laughs> Bye for now.